keeping converts. 92 and a half. Daniel keeping wins. Oh, legend living up to the hype yet again as this one only goes about one and a half. Riding solo feels the full effect. Josh Frost just simply blown off his back. 47 and a quarter for that bull score. Oh! Cool Whip continues his tear through the Cowboys. That is 32 buck offs in a row. Well, an impressive day too. 46 bull score. That's the kind of stuff that bull needs to win a world title right there of his own. It is the bulls how big the story of our bovine athletes is becoming. Ho, 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 ho! Solo brought it. How about 46 and a half? Riding Solo will move to number one. Josh could do it. Riding Solo feels the full effect. Josh Frost just simply blown off his back. 47 and a quarter for that bull score. Biggest score of the year for a bull out. And well deserved. You know, I, I thought riding solo, we talk about him, will he get out without fouling himself? Look at this, just rears out of there and fires. You can't ask one to buck any harder than that right there. That was a spectacular out for riding solo. I tell you what, listening to you walk us through that replay, what I found myself concentrating on is watching all that muscle ripple. I mean, you can just see the power exude off of him. Yeah, they've got him in great shape. Uh, that's, a, that's a phenomenal athlete. And that's going to help the defending Yeti World Champion Bull in his average. He has now moved all the way up to fourth overall, only two one hundredths of a point behind Flapjack. Well, Solo has a special relationship, guys, with Katie Perschbacher. That's one of Wupa's stock contractors. During Solo's fraternity and classic years, that's his two and four year old years, he made a name for himself by Katie Perschbacher flanking him at every out in competition because Cord McCoy was on the road at PBRs. Well, Cord, not here this weekend. He called and asked Katie to flank him, and what did it result in? Some clean outs, and of course, Solo's best mark of the season. Katie told me, I think I might be doing that all season. Uh, I think uh, Cord yeah, should want her to do it all season, uh, right? I would answer it for me. <laughs> Gonna fit him better than one he's been on so far. This is a perfect matchup right here. Watch this! Get it, Josh! Whoa! Flapjack doesn't care. Had his own plan. He hasn't heard about the Frost family as he sends Josh into the air in emphatic fashion. Hey, and we're talking inches right here of the difference in Josh being 94 and his hand popping out of his bull rope. It, it's the smallest of margin for error on a bull that's this good. Check out this bull score, 46, 46 and a quarter. That's the best score we've seen yet. That's a great bull. And keep in mind, that's a bull that's in that world title race. Yeah, that's a bull that will make use of that 46 and a quarter. Legend, in my opinion, would be one of those bulls. The big time chance to score. This bull's a real athlete. Dalton Castle, the latest to find out that this bull is the real deal. Back-to-back -back buck offs in the two-second range. Let's see how impressed, though, the judges were. Oh, boy, 46 and three quarters. Yeah, you're going to see some huge bull scores pushing that 47 mark. And honestly, this is probably one of the smoother trips I've ever seen out of Legend. Usually he's a little wilder than that. That is a monster out. That was his Unleash the Beast debut. Legend runs his record to 11 and 0. Ricky Vaughn is the name of the bull. Whoa! Wow! Uh, I mean, that yeah, is uh, uh, Peter. <laughs> the bull scored. What's that? All right. What was that? For 
the guys in the truck, look at this bull. Look at the air, the kick, the direction change. That is what you are looking for in a superstar bull. The bull score, the Yeti bull score on that one, 46 and three quarter points. And that was too low. Yeah. I'm doing the math. If he would have lasted eight seconds, he would have been like 112 points on that there one. That's it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if he'd have ridden that bull, he'd be winning. He, he would definitely be winning. That's, I've seen it on TV. I know what I'm talking about. Wyatt Rogers and Nighthawk. 10,000. Woo. Wow. What are you going to mark that bull, judges? But before we talk about bull scores, give Wyatt Rogers some love and appreciation for a $10,000 yeah. effort. Yeah, hey, Chad, stop right there, Chad. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look right above that CKP insurance. Logan Clancy, thank you so much. Can he go three for three in an event? For the win. No! In back-to-back -back weeks, a buck-off has helped Andrew Alvidrez. And for a man who has preached, try is everything, that try is now making everything possible. Andrew Alvidrez with a second event win this season. Whoa, wow. goodness. Okay. Definitely not a party in the USA for Cody Hooks. And how about that young bull right there flying wired? Tommy Julian and BS Cattle Company. Let's talk bull numbers quickly. And the bull score, the Yeti bull score, take a look at the right hand side of that big screen. Yep. 45 and a quarter for flying wired. Yeah, that is Yeti fan favorite bull from the PBR team series. Reddit Moonlight Party, however, because he will get to party on his own this evening. This crowd wanted more. Mitchell gave it everything he had, but it only lasts five. I love the little stare down that Moonlight Party gave Mitchell <laughs> at the end of that. On his way out the out gate, he looked back at him like, yep, got your number today, buddy. Oh. But another, I mean, big time out for Moonlight Party. Round to the right. And you can see how he pops and hangs in the air. Has that hang time? So cool to watch. Awkward landing, too, from Mitchell. Hopefully he'll be okay. Basically turned him into a human lawn dart there.